Real-time video chat is the newest frontier in cell phones, but for some users the experience has the potential to improve the quality of their lives. UW researchers are working on a software application that actually helps the deaf and hard of hearing have more meaningful conversations on the phone. It was the advent of texting that finally allowed the deaf community to join the cell phone world, but only in a limited way. Texting? You cannot really convey emotion as much as seeing the person. The more expensive you make a game. Even more true for those dependent on sign language to interpret what's going on in the world around them. That's why UW researchers are working on a special video app. Unlike more expensive 4G phones, they wanted it to be affordable and accessible to anybody with a video-enabled cell phone. And that also means some trade-offs. Because we're sending at 30 kilobits per second, um, the video quality is lower, but we also have different algorithms that devote more pixels to the uh, face and hands, which allow for clear, um, clear video there. The face and hands are what matter most to these users. The prototype phone also frees up both hands for signing. To maximize the more desirable elements, researchers decided to eliminate the one feature that won't be missed. For our target audience, we don't really need the sound. These participants in a UW summer school computer program for deaf and hard of hearing students are the first to field test the new technology. An interpreter translates the conversation. Uh, around New York for a couple of hours and then uh, after that, I'm going to do some things uh, and relax. Notice how much more animated they are than if they were just texting. These students like what they saw. From where it is right now, it's a very good uh, um, prototype. In the end, I do believe that it will be a very good thing to have in the deaf and hard of hearing community. So, can't wait for it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Researchers hope to have the sign language app available to the public in a year or two.